Good morning, Kettle Kids, and welcome to your Monday, March 25th. We actually had uh, quite a bit of a you know rehash of winter this weekend, but I do want to tell you that coming up, we do have our solar eclipse. This is the solar eclipse week as we run up to uh, our last days of school before the solar eclipse will happen over break. So the uh, our news team, our newsroom, has some cool stuff to tell you about that. Take it away, news team. Good morning, Kettle Kids. I'm Julie Ken. And I'm Kiara Davenport with your Kendall Morning News. As most of you know, the total solar eclipse will occur here in western New York on Monday, Monday, April 8th. Wow, that's only two weeks away. Yes, and while most of us know that the eclipse happens because the moon passes between us and our view of the sun, there are a few facts that you might not know. Like what? Well, how about the fact that the full eclipse event will happen across the course of two and a half hours? Wow, I'm glad I tend to run a little late to my celestial events. <laughs> yeah, there's not much risk of running late. Also, the point at which the moon most covers the sun's rays, called totality, lasts for a whole seven minutes. That's longer than I can hold my breath. At least I think it is. <gasps> also, even though solar eclipses happen about every 18 months at any particular point on the planet, to see the eclipse here from our very own town of Kendall will only occur every 375 years. <laughs> exactly! It's not just a once in a lifetime chance to see without traveling, it's a once in several lifetimes chance. <laughs> yeah, can't do seven minutes. Well, we'll have more information for you about how to safely view the eclipse as we get closer to spring break. Yep, that's true. But for now, that's all the news we have for today. Back to you, Mr. King. <laughs> Thanks, kids. Also want to tell you that uh, as we've been talking about so far, the reading challenge is still something going on. Uh, so make sure that you get your reading logs in there because they're still going to be good all the way through break. So get those in. We want to get to the uh, 2024 books, and we will. We're going to get there. I feel it. Uh, but before we do, please find the flag in the room, and Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, you crazy candy kids, suck a little bit food for the day. On our menu, we have a tuna sandwich or pizza crunchers, along with green beans, applesauce, and milk. What's going on with that weather outside? It's going to be a lot warmer today, looking at a high of 55. Yes, you heard me right, 55 degrees after the cool off over the end of last week and through the weekend. Um, we're actually looking at sunshine and warmer weather. Tomorrow, the rain comes in, uh, but then sun, 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 and more sun throughout the week. Here's the, the bit of a twist, though. As soon as break starts, you know, we get the weekend, looks okay, but Monday the temperature drops back out. We're looking to cool off into the break. So, you know, kind of a, a mixed bag of things. Maybe that weather will change as the forecast continues on. But for the most part, a taste of spring again, and then kind of like the right kind of temperature it should be for this time of year uh, in our early spring in the mid-40s. So we're, we're kind of cruising to where we should be rather than yo-yoing all around like we have been between you know, like really, really warm days and then really cold days and then back to warm days again because that's just what upstate New York does. Anyways, let's also do our part of the announcement. It's called the Kendall Canines, and I do want to show you uh, one awesome doggo. Uh, this is from the Glanton family. I want to tell you that uh, the, <laughs> uh, I believe the the name for their puppo is Ruby, if I was right. It was uh, short for Troubadour, which is pretty cool. Uh, so really, really cool dog uh, right here. love the, the kind of weird patchy... I don't want to call that a brindle coat. I don't know what you call that with the, the brown patches on it. It looks really good. So awesome dog plus 25,000. Eh, let's make it 50,000 points because just awesome dog. Uh, and also want to get into that part of the announcements where we look at our monster box. Got some cool little submissions here. Not as much as we had before, but I do have an absolute shining example of taking things to the next level. Uh, Mr. Smith right here went home over the weekend uh, and decided that he wanted to take that quilling stuff that we were learning in art class and bring it to the next level. So love when you guys send me an email uh, you know, with a picture of what you've made because that is just such a cool way to show off you know, uh, thinking about art outside of the art room, which you all should be doing. Uh, anyways... 
we got to finish our announcements here with the Kendall mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District to provide knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, I hope you guys have a marvelous Monday, and if we don't get a chance to see it, remember to stay colorful, Kendall.